This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Uh, Diamond Dog Fitness is up next, and he said, How do video game royalties work? Which game did you make the most money for? Was it WrestleMania 19, the video game? Because you were on the cover. Also, how much does the talent uh, take care talent care about being on the cover and their overall rating in the game? Well, all right. First and foremost, uh, if you're on the cover, you're getting a bonus. You're getting a lot of money up front. Uh, not only that, if you're on the cover, when people buy the game, you get more money than everybody else. And um, what was the last question? Um, he oh, said, the rating. Uh, yeah. You want to have a strong rating so the fans play you so they will demand you for the next video game. So your rating, you always want it to be higher. Uh, you, you definitely want to have uh, the highest rating as high as you can possibly get. Yeah, no, that seems important. And, man, that's kind of a cool thing. You know, Kurt Angle on the cover of a video, video game. Do you ever see any guys in line coming through getting those autographed? Do you ever, auto, ever autograph any of those video oh, games? Oh, yeah, covers? yeah. A lot of, a lot of uh, I bet. WWE 2K video games. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's very popular. I would say it's second to the pop action figures. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Up next is Keith Hellebrand. He said, did Cena ever run his raps before you beforehand? And before you answer that question, Kurt, we have an example of one of those raps to share with you. Here we right. go. So Kurt Angle tried to diss me, but he just came off soft. He's like Siegfried and Roy, and I'm a tiger that's pissed off. <laughs> this is John Cena. It's time to get dirty at no mercy. And you don't want to mess with me. I'm like a prostitute with herpes. Thought he was funny with his midget that he couldn't take his hands off. You want to see a real joke? Have Kurt Angle take his pants off. He claims intelligence. That's impossible. His head is hollow. His t-shirt used to say you suck, but they had to switch it because he swallows. <laughs> you want to show your true colors, Kurt? And dress up like a chick. And stop acting like we're married. Get the hell off my... Yeah. You know, at some point in time, John Cena is going to show someone in the WWE respect. Okay, Kurt. So, <laughs> did he ever run his raps past you before he went out there and did something like that? He never did. It was always a surprise, whatever John said. So, he never ran it by me beforehand. We never went over it beforehand. Even when I rapped against him, we didn't even go over it beforehand. We went out there and did our thing. We both knew what we were going to say, but we didn't intermingle with each other beforehand. Cena likes to just do it out there. That's his thing. And what are your thoughts on some of that rapping that we just heard? Is that like, it's oh, a bit offensive, but you know what? Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, the thing is, this was in the ruthless aggression era, and um, they were still a little edgy. Yeah, I'd say so. He is now. Uh, but uh, John Cena was probably the last of that. And then he kind of cleaned up his act eventually. Oh, he had to. Yeah, because then it became, you know, Grant and Wishes for Kids and, you know, the, post <laughs> yeah. the poster boy across America. Make a wish. Yeah. yeah, exactly. This is a little different yeah, for sure. But uh, all right. Well, hey, there you go. There's your answer. You never ran a pass, Kurt. Kurt just sat in the back and took it and thought, I'll stiff you later, Cena in the ring. There you go. <laughs> uh, James Grunberg's up next. He says, when you did the moonsault off the cage versus Chris Benoit, did you have any jaw damage? That bounce off your chin looked painful. And Kurt, I have it for you in our last clip of the week. Nice. We're going to take a look at it. Here we go. Okay. Nothing from the depth of 
So, Kurt, what say you? Did you di did you injure your uh, chin on that one? No, I'm a dumbass though. <laughs> My God, um, I actually knocked the wind out of myself. But um, on one of those moon salts, I believe it was a year later. I did it again, I think, with Chris Benoit, and I blew my knee out, and I had to have knee surgery. That was in at the end of 2002, and I wrestled Benoit at the Royal Rumble in 2003 for the World Championship. I remember that. So this was a little bit earlier. This was in 2001, I believe. Yeah. And uh, this was when Austin was out there, and we were trying to impress Stone Cold. We wanted to show that we wanted to work with them. So yeah. we're doing crazy ass stuff. And you know what we did? We scared them. <laughs> yeah, you did. It was like, I don't want to work with these guys. Yeah. <laughs> these guys uh, are idiots. Crazy. And so we had to like tone down our styles and show that, you know, we could work safely and not be effing crazy. And, uh, you know, it was just crazy that Stone Cold Steve Austin was um, not interested in working us with, with us at this time. And that's what we were trying to do. We were trying to impress them to say, hey, I want to work with these guys. And it, it backfired on us. Mm -mm -mm. Well, Kurt, uh, next question comes from us to from uh, Slovakia 99. And he says, besides wrestling, what are your favorite Olympic sports? Well, you know what? For me, I like combat sports. So I would say judo, um, uh, boxing, wrestling. Uh, also, I, I do like basketball. And the reason is ever since the Dream Team became eligible, yeah, I'm really interested in that because I love, I love, I I watch college basketball. I love the NCAA's and seeing these guys go pro and follow them throughout the pros. It's pretty cool. But to see them at the Olympic Games, you know, they're the best basketball players in the world. It's really cool that they're able to represent their countries and be pro ba basketball players. Do you have a favorite college basketball team? Uh, I I'm a big Pitt fan. They haven't okay. been that great in years, but. Um, Back in geez in the nineties, they were they were ranked once, one, twice, two times, two, two different, different times, times, yeah. Preseason. And uh, uh that's when I really fell in love with pit basketball. Kurt, we move on and add free shows.com slap nut to count Kyle ass. Kurt, my favorite matches of yours, most of my favorites, by the way, have you in them, were with Benoit, Lesnar, and Jericho. As someone who is regarded as El Stiffo, out of the Chris's and Brock. Who did you come away with from a match feeling the most brutalized from? Okay. Up front, I'm the stiffest of the four. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm guilty as charged. <laughs> but Benoit, his chops were stiff as hell. They hurt like a son of a bitch, and you ended up with bruises all over. Gunshots. You. Yeah, yeah, they were really stiff. Uh, Brock Lesnar, when he threw you, he was so strong and powerful. When you bumped, it hurt like a son of a bitch. But with Jericho... As great of a worker as he was, and he's one of the greatest of all time, that son of a bitch was El Stiffo with the punches and kicks all the time. <laughs> uh, they, they weren't fake. They hurt for real. But but don't get me wrong. Chris Jericho was an incredible worker. I absolutely enjoyed working with him. He was just stiff as hell. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. And I'm telling you, but if you watch any of the matches he's putting on with Eddie Kingston right now, those two are absolutely brutalizing each other in the ring. He seals, oh. seems like he hasn't lost any of that stiffness. Oh, no, he's sure. still on top of his game. <laughs> and it's El Stiffo as ever. <laughs> hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.